not sure if she should do a computer science degree or go to a boot camp. Well, I did both. So let me help you. Okay, so should you get that computer science degree? Let me tell you the pros and cons. So the pros of going to the school for computer science is that you get the fundamentals. So you really learn data structures, you learn object-oriented programming, you learn legacy code, which sucks. But anyways, um, you also learn how computers really work. You go down to the bone. Because you know the fundamentals and you know how to, you know how the computer works and how your code goes from like fancy code to zeros and ones, it becomes easier to, to debug. The debugging skills that you have are much better because you know where in the code it's happening or how to read these errors, but it's nothing that you can't learn on your own. And you're gonna see that in this whole video, you can learn everything on your own. It's up to you. Number two, you get a degree. I have never been asked to show proof of my degree, but I do say that I do have a degree. There's a lot of people in this industry who don't have it and are amazing and that hasn't stopped them. Big fancy paper that you can go to a corporation and say you did computer science degree. And it's also great bragging rights. The con. <laughs> it takes forever to finish. It took me five years. I know some people who took six years. I also switched to a BA, don't tell anybody, but I switched to a BA because it was taking too long. Now, let me expand on this. I got you here. It takes a long time. Like I said, normally four to five years. Think about your iPhone four to five years ago. Super different. So now imagine the stuff that they teach you. You don't ever get to learn up to up to date things nor things that came out four to five years ago. So you're super behind. Like I said, you learn legacy code. So you, once you come out of your graduation, you still don't know how your iPhone works or how the internet works. So you're kind of lost. Now I switched to the BA because I had already gotten a job because I went to a boot camp and I was like, why am I going to take more time to get a BS when I already have a job and I just need a degree? So I switched to the BA. Do I recommend it? I can, I can start another video if you guys want and I'll do that. But anyways, let's continue on to this one. So. The, that con, it takes a long time. Con number two, which I kind of mentioned, was you don't know stuff that you use in the actual industry. Like you don't know what a you don't know what a browser is. You don't know how to use Git. Common practices, common architecture. Like you don't know any of those stuff. So you get into the field and you're ready for a job, but you have to find you have to teach yourself after you get out of the college any language that you see on job posts and teach yourself once you get out. So it's not a straight shot out of school. So you just have fun bragging rights and you know the fundamentals. Is it crucial? Do you have to get a set computer science degree to make it in this industry? Absolutely not. You can teach yourself. If you need to get a degree because you're going to school and you're 18 and you wanna study something and you like code, Go for it. Like you have to get it anyways. But if you're, if you know school isn't for you or the whole four year university isn't for you, or you already got a degree and you're not sure, then like, don't get the computer science degree. It's not worth it. Look into a boot camp or look into learning on your own. Now that leads me to, should you do a boot camp? I went to Winco. Do a little one time, time. Wee, Winco. Okay. So I went to Winco and I did the 10 week, it was a 10 week boot camp, full stack development. I decided to do it because I didn't know, I knew nothing of what was going on in school. I felt like an idiot. And so I wanted to get a little bit of more knowledge. So I went to the boot camp. At the boot camp, I did Ruby on Rails, uh, learned some JavaScript, and I thought it was better than doing a four to five year degree. And Guess what? I got a job after it. 
I got a job after it, and it's launched my career. They also teach you how to uh, use Git, how to what it's like to develop in an actual team, what is agile, what are standups, how it actually, how you will actually work in the environment. Basically, they teach you everything that they should teach you at school, but they don't. So I recommend that if you don't want to go to school or you already have a degree or you don't want to, go to a boot camp, see if you like code, and try it out. That coding isn't for everybody. It's not just like, oh, want to switch careers? Come to coding. Coding is hard. It's a lot of patience. It's not always going to work, and you have to like it in order to get yourself through it. So if you like coding, do the boot camp super important to remember it's up to you you have to keep learning you have to make sure that you study up on the things that you need to study based off of the job description that you want to land so it's not like you go to that boot camp and well you're guaranteed a job no you have to make sure that you you give it your all and once you graduate keep going keep learning keep the hustle it's all about hustling the boot camp was one of the best things i did here are my three points. One, go to school if you have to get a degree and you like to code. Just go to school and get a degree for computer science. Number two, go to the boot camp if you already have a degree or you know you don't want to go to a four-year university or you want to change careers and you know you like to code, then go to a boot camp. It's not worth going to go get a computer science degree when you have a boot camp. Number three, no matter if what route you took, either one or two, it doesn't matter. It's up to you on how you succeed. Coding doesn't just stop at the university, or it doesn't just stop at the boot camp, or it doesn't stop after three years of learning, or three years in the industry. You keep on growing, you keep hustling. So coding is up to you. Okay, so that's it. I hope I didn't talk too much and could actually give you guys some help. If you guys have any questions or have anything else you wanna add or anything new you want to hear just let me down in the comment let me know below in the comments and if i was able to help you out on this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so you can stay up to date with my latest tips and advice